I have to show you this picture we found of you with two of your favorite members <laughs> of the Rat Pack. <laughs> Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. Oh, is that Jack Carter? Yeah, I, I think, think it is. is. So what Look was it like babes. being the girl in the Rat Pack? I was the one who would uh, pick up the crackers and the jelly beans and answer the door. <laughs> and I always told them the truth. I really did. And that's why they, I think they liked me. Uh, did it ever get romantic? Never. Oh, no, no. I had a crush on Dean for about 15 minutes. <laughs> She liked Sinatra, too, and discovered how helpful he could be. A couple of times when I went on the road with my show and there were some union problems at whatever theater we were playing, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't mess with the union when they've got their problems, so I would call Frank. He'd say, yeah, I've got people. The <laughs> next thing I knew, there were no union problems. McLean looks back on her Rat Pack days as a time when Hollywood stars weren't so perfect. They were human beings who were so primitively talented on all levels and they loved um, the mistakes of the moment and they what do you loved mean by that well they didn't like perfection they didn't like to rehearse they didn't like to um, be aware of what was happening so that they wouldn't look uh, ridiculous they loved looking ridiculous because they knew they were icons they knew they were they're so specially talented that the audience couldn't relate to them because who was as talented? So when something happened on the stage or even in the movie and it was knocking them off their pedestal, they loved that. They were very aware of how smart that was. Does that happen in Hollywood now? No. No. In my opinion, no. Everybody wants perfection. Even if they're playing a disheveled, you know, idiot on the street, they want to know exactly what's going to happen. Do 